A superbug gets its power from the ability to mutate, developing resistance to common antibiotics. A long-standing concern for hospitals and nursing homes, drug-resistant MRSA can cause pneumonia and bloodstream infections. Nowadays, there is a lot of vigilance about hospital-acquired infections. So hospitals are paying a lot of attention in making sure that people who come to our hospital to get better, we don't give them an infection. Starting in the late 80s, MRSA hit the community at large, causing skin infections, some of them life-threatening. Spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact, athletes and people living in close quarters were most at risk. The first uh, outbreak of MRSA was in a f uh, NFL football team where they got MRSA because they were sharing in the locker room and everything. And then it came through to routine uh, regular population as well. From hospitals to homes, MRSA is still adapting. Studies find it now taking up residents in private homes. The CDC estimates two in every hundred people are colonized with MRSA without sickness. As smart as this bug is, preventing its spread is relatively simple. The best thing you can do is hand washing. Hand washing, hand washing, hand washing. That's, all, that's the best way of preventing you from getting MRSA infection. Cleanliness, both careful cleaning and covering open cuts should keep a damaging bug at arm's length. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.